They meet every week in the park to train with coach Berenice. Beatrice Annan is single. She says she takes part to lose weight and look good in order to attract a suitable husband. For Miriam Atabohene, a full-time lawyer, this is a time to focus on her health, something she too often overlooks during the working week. It's good for the heart too, you know, and you don't want to be caught on unawares with some ailment of sorts. So it's always important to work out. One, two, three, up. Okay. And this is what she wants to avoid, stroke. If you swallow... Dr. Akpalu says there is what he calls a stroke epidemic among young people in Ghana. Tracy Gordon believes a car accident provoked her condition. But after closer inspection, Dr. Akpalu believes her illness is down to genetics. She came with a sudden onset of headache. She is hypertensive, so we are trying to find out what are the genetic risk factors. So taking the sample is very important. We take the sample, spin it, and extract DNA and store it. And then we, when we find any batch, then we send them over for the genetic analysis. As part of a multi-country study funded by the Wellcome Trust and the United States, doctors across Africa are compiling a genetic library of diseases that affect people living on the continent, something that has never been done before. By next year, 2.5 million genes specific to diseases in Africa will be put on a chip to test patients for illnesses affecting them. Or if I know the genetics, or if I know the genomics of the condition that I'm treating, it will help me guide specifically what type of medication, what dose of medication, what duration of medication, which specific type of medication, looking at the pharmacodynamics, pharmacogenetics. Because of changes in lifestyle and diet, diseases like obesity, hypertension, and kidney diseases are on the rise and patients are dying younger. Stroke is a preventable condition, something people fail to prepare for until it's too late. Now, doctors recommend exercising, but knowing your genetic makeup could actually save your life. According to scientists, Africans have greater genetic diversity than anywhere else in the world. With this new information, scientists hope to keep people healthy and perhaps one day correct someone's genomes so that Berenice can have the body she wants and Miriam, the fitness she needs. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Accra.